Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show and discuss photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got these on various Telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof that a small occult elite of to the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel that I just created. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel, the links is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Mercury Arc Rectifier, found in a 102-year-old elevator. Used for switching AC-DC current. If not from the old world, it was more likely or built on the basis of salvaged old world technologies. Mercury was arguably one of, if not the most important element of the old world. By means of it, were engineered ancient flying machines, the mana, etc., electrical generators, as well as supposed healing properties. That was until the people in power began demonizing mercury as toxic and not to be used in most technologies unless necessary, hence its decline in the past century. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Why do we know so little about the ancient runes? Because runes carry cryptid knowledge. In order for a rune to be decoded, it has to be paired with a rune prior and rune after. Runes were made in the first place so that the parasites would not be able to read the sacred knowledge. Same ancient runes, written by the same folk, except different time periods. Ale Jesus, presumably made in 1753, from a single block of marble, but none knows actually how it was done. Imagine being so good that you can make a rock look transparent. Have you ever seen a flat top mountain? I can't shake the feeling of them actually being giant cut down trees with almost sheer vertical cliffs. Depiction of Rome by 18th century artist Giovanni Battista Piranesi. Mainstream history tells us the art Piranesi drew was completely fictitious. To me, it sounds like an attempt to cover up the magnificence of the old world. Take a look at these photos, this is Cathedral of St. John the Divine. Said to be built in 1911, a blatantly obvious lie. This is a compilation of photos and postcard drawings of buildings in South Africa with advanced old world architecture. Many with the common Tartarian theme of spires, points, antennas, etc. A few of the buildings have the common white and red lines, which are believed to be power stations of the old world, specifically for Tartaria. This story claims that the majority of these buildings were built in the 1800s, the rest 1900s. How could such advanced architecture be built in South Africa during the 1800s? Primitive people cannot and would not build advanced architecture. This is a very interesting art by Federico Italiano, modern artist. Where did he get the inspiration to draw these very unique structures? Perhaps he tapped into the Akashic records and saw this image. Perhaps this was placed into his head during a dream. Amazing art, no matter the case.
the leather IRJ often seen on buildings, gravestones, paintings and coins. This painting of Carlo Brasci also has this type of dating. Was our distant past more recent? What time period are we even in? Some say 1000 years have been added which would make this 1022, we don't know that for sure, but what we do know is, the lies we've already uncovered in the mainstream history narrative. I personally think they have altered our timeline. What do you think? Ralph Glidden was an amateur archaeologist who uncovered ancient burial sites on Catalina Island from 1919 to 1928. Ralph claimed that he had uncovered a secret history of Catalina Island, that he had found evidence of a race of giants. A prehistoric race of blue-eyed and blonde-haired Native Americans on Catalina Island, off the southwestern coast of California. An excavation of a huge cache of skeletons was discovered on the island. A skeleton of a young girl, evidently of high rank within a large funeral urn, was surrounded by those of 64 children, and in various parts of the island, more than 3,000 other skeletons were found, being practically all 7 to 8 feet in height. Some documented to being 9 feet 2 inches tall. As the usual story goes, the skeletons got sent around to the Hayes Foundation and Smithsonian for documentation. Now they have vanished. What do you think? Astrolabe. A sophisticated. Inclinometer, analog calculator. Do basic types. Planispheric astrolabe helped astronomers calculate the positions of celestial objects. It is said that this type was to be more complicated, dependent on users' longitude. Maritime astrolabes. Version of planispheric astrolabe was primarily used to determine the altitude of the sun or a star. They both came with two basic parts. A graduated circle, and an alidade, a sighting device, or pointer used to measure angles. Said to be at least 1,000 uses, including calculating horoscopes, navigation, astrology, timekeeping, prayer, astronomy, and creating birth century. Said to have been invented by Apollonius around 6th century. What are your thoughts? The satanic elites wants you eating bugs and they are seriously pushing the agenda. Even some countries in Europe have already approved bug-eating laws. These environmentalists advise that we all need to switch to a diet of bugs instead of meat, because apparently cow farts produce carbon and aid in global warming. Also, one Swedish scientist even suggested we devour the flesh of deceased humans to cut greenhouse emissions. Do you see how sick these demonic degenerates are? They are committed to making you ineffective by whatever means necessary. Put your full armor of God. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.